Come ride with me as I check out Kestrel Village and more in Summerlin. That's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. <laughs> everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Angela O'Hare your favorite Las Vegas realtor and today let me turn this music down a little I am going to be going to Kestrel Village checking out Kestrel Village see the progress of Kestrel Village and also just tour around Summerlin West and all the new construction area and I have four new construction homes in the Summerlin west area that I'm going to stop and take a look at the progress. A couple of them are going to be closing, or at least one of them is going to be closing. No, there's a couple that will be closing next month. So I thought it would be interesting. I got a lot of positive feedback on my last video that I did. Sorry, I need my glasses um, on, you know, the day in the life of a realtor. What it's like to be Angela O'Hare. <laughs> so I thought it would be interesting to do this, try this again. Um, so just real quick, I wanted to also briefly go over market thoughts. I don't know if you had watched uh, the market update video that Rob and I and my buyer's agent Chris did uh, last week or so. You should check it out. It's very informative of what's going on with the Las Vegas real estate market. And hopefully my sound is better. I had invested in, before we get into that, <laughs> I had invested in this road mic um, a while ago and um, I noticed that when I do my drive through sometimes it's very distorted and I apologize for that. Uh, I have had this Rode mic but just never really utilized it. So hopefully the sound will be much better this time around in my car. Anyways, so the market. What is going on with the market? Well, right now a lot of my clients have put the brakes on buying. Uh, the feds have raised interest rates already. It's, I don't even know what the average is right now. It's over 5%. So a lot of people are just waiting to see what is going to happen with the economy, the war, the gas prices, uh, and also fear of the um, recession. So a lot of people are like, I don't know if it's a good time to buy. I don't know if the prices are going to go down more. I don't know if the interest rates are going to continue to rise. What I have noticed for sure is one, more inventory is coming on the market and two, homes are staying on the market a lot longer and three, people aren't getting multiple offers. So, you know, should you wait? Maybe, but if you wait, will the prices go down tremendously or the interest rate will keep on climbing. So if you need to buy and you need to relocate to Vegas, then I suggest you don't wait. I've told clients in the past in 2020, you should wait till 2021, 2021 came and 2021 was just cray cray. And then 2022 came and 2022 was even crazier than 2021. Of course, now things have changed, but the beginning of 2022 had been extremely crazy. The prices have gone up. Currently, the medium sales price is at 482K. It has seen tremendous increase in the last six months, five months actually. Um, so now the question is, okay, yes, we're getting some homes on the market. Yes, the homes are staying on the market longer. Yes, you're seeing some price decreases. But those price decreases are probably because those sellers had them priced too high to begin with. So my thoughts are, if you do wait and see how this all takes place, what are the interest rates going to be and how much lower are the prices really going to go? I don't know. I think they may go down just slightly. And again, you're seeing price decreases, but you're seeing it because sellers have priced them astronomically too high. So my advice to you is actually, if you're thinking about buying, is to buy this summer um, because the median price may continue to rise, maybe slightly, it may not even rise at all, it may slightly drop, but it's not gonna drop drastically. We're not gonna pop and have this huge crash happen because one, in 2008, prime example, it took at least three years to finally sink to the bottom. I don't see that happening right away. If you want to hold out for a couple more years, then fine, go ahead and hold out. But you know, things change. 
lot happens in those three years or a lot can happen in those three years. So that's my food for thought on the market. Um, I have noticed it slow down tremendously on my end, which, you know, I'm not complaining because I need a little break and it's been nice. Um, however, should you wait? That is the question. I don't know. I don't think you should because again, due to history and what I've experienced, waiting may not be the best solution. But I will support whatever decision you guys make and if that's what you want, I'm not going to force you into buying a home that you're not comfortable buying. Um, so that's my food for thought on that. So right now I am on Lake Mead. I'm going to turn on this little... Did I turn it on? Yep. Okay. So now we're approaching Kestrel Village. I'm on Lake Mead and I'm heading west on Lake Mead. I live in the Desert Shores area, so I just went straight up. And the cool thing is, is now that Lake Mead connects to Reverence and then also connects to the Kestrel Village, I've noticed some roads opening up here. So I think it would be kind of cool to um, drive up these roads, see how far they take us. And then also there's some more roads to, to check out. And then I will get out, take video of Kestrel Village if I can, and then we'll just go from there. So let's see. I haven't been on these roads yet. I'm kind of excited. The last time I was here, there, oh, okay, so Desert Foothills, so that's cool. So Desert Foothills connects all the way to Far Hills, so that's good information to know. I don't know if it connects yet. We're gonna find out. And to the right of me is Reverence. So let's see. So this is Crested Canyon by Taylor Morrison. All new territory for me, folks. Kind of, kind of excited. Okay, so the outside kind of looks just like Red Point architecture. The mountain's beautiful, though. Wow, this is awesome. So Castro Village is one of the newest villages here in Summerlin West. Wow. Um, and as of now, they have one, two, three, four, five that I know of that I can research of five um, neighborhoods that are going to be happening here. So this is at the end of the road. Wow. I'm actually going to get out and take a video and then go over Kestra Village. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I like the height and the elevation up here. All right, folks, see you in a minute. Okay, I'm at the very top of Kestra Village. Of course, you really can't see the strip from here because there's a layer of haze. It's kind of windy out today, but it's pretty cool. The views are very beautiful. I mean, I don't know what community is going to be up here, but whatever community is going to be up here is going to have some really awesome views. Alrighty. Look at the mountains in the backdrop, too. I love it up here. Now, if you don't know, Summerlin West is a little windier than the rest of the valley because we're so close to these mountains. FYI, there's my car. All right, folks. I'll see you in. Slightly windy out. Okay. So... Let me make sure. Alrighty. So I have a blog post or I have an article on the Kestrel Village on my website at summerlandcommunities.com if you want to learn more about Kestrel Village. As of now, coming soon is Blacktail by Pulte Homes. And these are going to be like three story type homes. And they have one, two, three, four different models to go. And they have four different models to choose from. I'm not going to go into detail about a lot of these, but I just kind of briefly wanted to let you know what communities are coming to the Kestrel Village. Then you have Crested Canyon by Taylor Morrison. They've already been selling this community for a few months now, and they also have six different floor plans to choose from. Three of them are the two-story option, and then the other three are the same two-story option with the third floor, if that makes sense. And then next we have Falcon Crest, which they're starting to sell as well. And this is all single story community by Woodside Homes. Um, they don't really have the prices for that one. 
And then we're going to have Nighthawk by KB Homes coming soon. And also Vera, Vera Rio, Vario by Woodside Homes. Not sure about any of those two communities, the prices or how many homes they're going to have, but at least you know that they will be coming soon. So let's just go drive and I will get out once I get, no, we're going to drive on Desert Foothills and then I'll get out and look at Crested Canyon and uh, Falcon Crest and show you what it looks like. Okay. Construction access only. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try it. So Cresta Canyon, um, oh my gosh, my brain is fried, is exact same models as the ones at, um, it's over at Red Point Square Village. It's a another Taylor Morrison community. It's not Crystal Canyon. I forget what it's called. Brain fry. Um, so these are the exact same floor plans as those ones over there. I'm sure once we go by it, it'll say, aha, those were the ones. Um, so these are the exact same ones and they have the six different floor plans to choose from. This looks like these are going to be the model homes just because of how the garage is right there. And what I've noticed is a lot of these communities uh, in Summerlin are a lot of new construction. They'll start pre-selling or selling the homes before the models are even done just because of how crazy the market was. Um, things are slowing down a little for new construction. Things are changing. Things are shifting. And what I've noticed with new construction is that the builders are now offering additional incentives not only do they offer incentives when you use their in-house lender, they also offer you incentives towards your options. Um, a lot of them are, or they're increasing the lender incentive from, you know, like a 3% of base price towards closing costs, which is huge. 3% of a base price towards closing costs is huge. It can be 15, 16,000 plus, depending on the price of the home. So that's huge savings. Now I'm on um, Desert Foothills, Falcon Crest is right there. I will get out and do video of all of these once I just kind of just see what's going on with these roads. So we have Kestrel Creek. Let's go up here. All right, you can see that's Falcon Crest right there. All single story homes. I've noticed some of the homes are listed in the MLS. I think builders are gonna start having a harder time selling these homes. Um, and they may start decreasing. malfunction and they may start decreasing the prices you never know just never know all right so actually this must be the entrance to falcon crest and it looks like the models will be ready soon huh let's go in here check out this bad boy it's so hard to find technology or mounts that will stay because of the high sun here in vegas um these things don't function properly or things fall apart. Alrighty. I don't know if you can see. There's the model homes over there. <laughs> it happened again. I'm going to have to hold them out while I drive and talk. So as you can see, uh, yeah, I've progressed pretty well over here since the last time I came over here. They even have the streets laid out. 
It's cray cray. And it's only like 9.30 and it's still, the sun is beating down and melting my, my little mount thing. Okay. Do you see that? All right, I guess it's now is a good time to stop for a minute and take video. Okay, here is Falcon Crest. It is windy. All right, let's take a peek at these houses. Get a better picture of them. Wake up your china doll. Hi. <laughs> ever watched that TV show Falcon Crest back in the 80s? These guys are probably like this damn broad. <laughs> Why is she in our construction sites? All right, so this takes us to Kestrel Ridge. Sorry if I look funny, but I'm just trying to secure my mount. Oh, I just discovered a new It's called Osprey Ridge by Richmond American Homes. All right, I'm gonna get, stop for a minute and take a picture of that sign because I will not remember that name. As I come back each time, my hair keeps on getting mess, messier and messier. The wind is cray cray today. Alrighty, so let's keep on going. I think Sirius is playing Dead and Company show from, uh, oh, 61122. So that must be at Dodger Stadium, I do believe. Let me know in the comments if any of you went to that show at Dodger Stadium or if you went to Shoreline. I think Shoreline was 614. All right, let's flip a B. It's very pretty up here. Down in the thunder with the rains pouring down And it looks like the old man is coming home <laughs> Alrighty, let's see where we can go now let's See where this takes us I'm impressed with the progress they've made Of course, I've been a little busy, so I had it I guess I need to do this been a little busy so I hadn't had a chance to come up here lately. I think the last time I was up here, oh, it's been a couple months probably. Oh, where am I? Where is this taking me to? Nowhere. Nowhere, but it's eventually going to be somewhere. Yeah, if I were to live in Kestrel, I'd want to live up here at the very top. I don't know what builders are going to be here. I just discovered that new Richmond American community, so that's cool. Can't wait to do some research and uh, put that on my website. Hopefully there'll be some more information on it. So this is Clowder Pass. So this is interesting. What 
is that community. The rain's pouring down and it looks like the old man is heading home. Hmm. They don't have the road into it. Oh, this must be the Pulte. Let me get the other camera out. This looks like the Pulte homes. They're supposed to be three-story homes called Blacktail. <laughs> All righty. Let's see what this is. All right, so we're still on desert foothills. Let's see how far it goes. Now, eventually, I think they're going to start, hopefully soon, this is going to lead all the way to Summerlin Parkway, and they're eventually going to finally build that urban core with a bunch of shopping over here between the Kestrel Commons Village and um, the Red Point Square Village. I don't know when they're going to be building anything with Kestrel Commons. It's pretty much up in the air. Um, you know, and now my biggest fear is with um, the market the way it is or the way it's heading, I don't know if these builders are going to continue building or take a break or I just don't know. I don't know what how it's going to play out. Sorry if I keep on touching. It's bright out today. Okay, so this is Kestrel Village in a nutshell. We went down Kestrel Creek. I didn't see a sign for that Vero or Black Hawk. We saw Blacktail, Falcon Crest, Crested Canyon. And there's gonna be some more down that way. Alrighty. I guess that wraps up Kestrel Village for now. I'm going to stop for a minute, turn everything off, and then see you guys on my next tour so we are gonna go check out carmel cliff i have a client that bought a model in carmel cliff i think the victoria um so we're gonna check out the progress of their home it's not due until december but i just want to see what it looks like the progress and then we're gonna go to overlook my client's home closes next month and they bought the plan three. If you remember in the last video, I kind of wanted to go check it out, but I was not, um, it was too, too much construction going on. I have to hold this. <laughs> and then uh, we'll go and overlook and check out my other client's lot. Let's see if they even started framing it. Then we'll go to Kings Canyon, check out another lot to see if it's been framed. And then we'll go to, I think that's it. We'll see. See you guys on the flip side. Okay, we're over here in Carmel Cliff, checking out my client's Pulte home. Um, the framing is done. They're supposed to be done in December. Fingers crossed that it will be done. This is lot 83. They got the Victoria model. I don't remember specifics on specs right now. But let's just go check it out real quick. I'm sure I'll be doing a frame walkthrough one of these days soon, hopefully. Yeah, they bought this last year. I don't remember when they bought this. Okay, so now if you remember in the model, this is one big room. They got this room right here as the flex space, which cut out part of the garage. Um, this would have been a tandem garage and it would have been a three bay here and then an extra garage there, but they decided to still have a three car garage with the flex room here. This is gonna be your, hmm, probably half bath right here. And I would imagine this is the laundry room or not, I don't know. 
trying to remember. This is the entry to the garage, no laundry room, half bath, yes, okay. And then here's the other bedroom that will have its own bathroom. I kind of like the model. I like this flex space because it's going to give you more rooms. But I like the model where they made it just this one big gym with the access to the outside. Let's go. Hey, I'm having no difficulties today. Ooh, that's nice. This is exact layout or positioning as the Victoria or the model home over here. You have a nice covered patio. It's going to come with pavers. And there's the backyard. This house was over, I think they bought it for 1.2. That was just the base price, I do believe. It's going to be a big kitchen. Alrighty, so then here is going to be a butler's pantry. You have a walk-in, there's going to be cabinets here, and then the huge um, pantry right here. And then this is the dining room area. And then right there is another den. Let's see if I can go upstairs. Hopefully I won't get yelled at for being in here. <laughs> I don't have a hard hat on. Alrighty. I like to live dangerously. <laughs> All right, so here's one of the bedrooms here. And it's going to have its own bathroom. Doesn't look like they have the electrical in just yet. Then you have, I'm trying to visualize this from the model. This is the laundry room that I'm in, right here. It's a big laundry room. And here's another bedroom that will also have its own bathroom. It's pretty nice. The bathroom's back there. And then this is the giant sized loft. I don't think I'm going to be able to get back. I don't know if I can stand on that. Alrighty. Okay, so I do believe right here is going to be, that's going to be a two-story home, but these two are going to be single-story homes because of the models. They didn't want the views to be intruded, so those are going to be single-story homes, two-story, and then single-story. They can't have like three single stories in a row, so that's why they have to put the two-story here because you have the two single stories. So you'll have a two-story, two single stories, another two-story, and maybe that's it. So just FYI, so that means that if a two-story is going to go right there, that mountain view is going to be taken away. But you still have some views of Red Rock Canyon right there. So one, two, three, you have four bedrooms upstairs, a bedroom downstairs, two dens. So then you have a bedroom here. All right, do we have two bedrooms back here? I'm trying to visualize the model. You have a bedroom here with a walk-in closet. It does not have its own bathroom. And then this is the other bathroom for upstairs, okay? Then we go into the primary suite. And this is a little seating area, the actual bedroom area. And then the bathroom, it's humongous. I think a tub's gonna go there. Luckily the shower is not extremely huge. And then the primary closet, your toilet's gonna go there. So yeah, this is my client's home. I don't remember the square footage. I'll leave it down in the comments. If I remember to leave it down in the comments, I do believe it's over 4,000 square feet, um, five bedrooms, two dens, 
three car garage because they opted for the fourth car to be converted into a flex room. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna go out of here and go to the next new construction site. See you on the flip side. Alrighty, Oof, right, just leaving this house over here. I'm sure you wanted to see my pretty face, right? It's a little bright out today, summer is here. Um, I'm still wearing my flip-flops as always. <laughs> I never learn. All right, guys, I'm gonna flip over, take a view of the street, and I'll see you guys later. All right, so we just checked out my client's home in Pulte. I would say they're probably more than halfway done with this community. I think they only have one street left. Now we're gonna go back over to TriPoint Homes to overlook and check out two lots over there. I hope you're enjoying this. Summer is here and it is hot as a mother. <laughs> See ya. Okay, I'm over here at Overlook by TriPoint Homes. The last time I was here, I don't know if you guys remember, but it was definitely not this far along. It's probably about a month ago I did that video. So my clients bought the Plan 3. Hopefully I can go inside. They're still working on it. Um, probably putting in things. Let me go from here. Now when you do buy new construction, as I say in all my videos, all the desert landscaping in the front yard come already landscaped and also the pavers in the driveway and the sidewalk. So if you remember the model over here, it has this beautiful like zen-like garden with a water feature. I love TriPoint Homes because of the mid-century modern look that it has. Um, so let's take a tour. This one's slightly different than the model. Oh, nice. So big. So I like this setup better with the island in the model. If you remember, they have island, island, and then table, and it looked too linear to me. Even though I like linear, it was just too linear. So this beautiful fireplace, they bought this home back in October. They were probably one of the first um, buyers to buy in this community. They have the nice wet bar area. This is gonna be your dining room. And I like this L-shaped um, kitchen better. Hi. I like this brown cabinets, the beautiful quartz countertops. The range is going to go here with the range hood coming down. It's going to have a big fridge. I don't know what's there. What is there? I don't remember. Oh, probably your double ovens are going to go right there. Then the nice walk-in closet or pantry, the sink. So the back over there is, um, I forgot what the road that is. My brain is fried. <laughs> but I really like this island much better than the two um, linear or parallel islands. These are nice cabinets with the black pools. Very nice. What is that road over there? It took a minute, Sky Vista. It took a minute for it to open up. So Overlook is an all single story community. And then here's the primary, the nice big sliders, which was extra. Now when they bought in this community, the only thing was the structural options were selected so they can build in a 10 month time frame. All the other upgrades my clients were able to select. <laughs> oh, thank you. Nice, I need a painter. And then, I like this, they went with the Petrofino or the quartz countertops. I like that, very nice. I will be doing a walkthrough on this home at the end of, or no, next month in July. So stay tuned to a, there's probably no lighting in here yet, no electricity. Stay tuned to a final walkthrough for this home. They forgot to tell me that they were doing the frame walkthrough, so I wasn't able to do it, which sucks. I like doing those frame walkthroughs. Let's take a peek. They got these huge 12-foot sliders on each side. 
No, this isn't 12 feet. That's 12 feet. It's a good-sized lot. You can put a pool in it for sure. And when they bought this home, I think it was like 900-something and change, but now it's over a million and change, 1.2, 1.3. I don't remember offhand. Look at that big door. It's huge. That's a $25,000 door. Then this has the den right here. It's cute. And then you have a bedroom down here. Half bath, laundry room with the sink, and then a bedroom that has its own bathroom, closet. Very nice. And then another bedroom with, should have its own bathroom as well. Yes, it does. And then a closet. Now in the model, this is an extended garage where they made it into a gym, but my clients actually made it into another bedroom. So the nice thing is that this has uh, one, two, three, four bedrooms and a den and a three car garage. Let's go out to the front. Actually, we'll just go out through the garage from here. Actually, that's a nice door. I need new doors in my house. I'm doing a remodel. All right, so you have the tankless water heater. Huh, plum for a water softener. Actually, is this still a three-car garage? Yes, okay. This one just doesn't lead into the house. All righty, guys. There's my caro. Super excited for this one to finally close. Love it. Look at those lines. I love those lines. Love mid-century. Yay! Wow, it's framed. I'm surprised. That's awesome. This is lot. Ah, oh, I forgot the lot number. <laughs> Have you noticed the theme of this video is that I've been forgetting a lot of things. But I do know that my client, another client who bought this, and this is another plan three. We already selected, selected all her options. And we like this lot because it's close proximity to the uh, little park area. It's on the corner and it's gonna have beautiful views. Obviously, unfortunately, I can't right now go and check it out because I don't have a hard hat on or the proper shoes, of course. So this is my last house over here in Overlook. And now we're gonna go check out my other client's lot over in Kings Canyon. See the progress of that. And then we're gonna wrap it up. It's probably gonna be a super long video. Aye, 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 construction. So this is my client's home, lot 70. Plan one over here in Kings Canyon by TriPoint Homes. I'm not gonna go in just because again, it's a little cray cray here, but I have noticed today in my tour of TriPoint, it is a trellis day. Looks like they're building the trellises to put on the roofs. So that's the one theme that I've noticed today, Kings Canyon and Overlook. I'm gonna get out of here, but hey, the frame is up. That's awesome. They're moving right along. Alrighty, I'll see you guys on the flip Actually, side. Actually, I like fire on the mountain. My favorite fire, though, is Cornell 1977. That is the best fire. I like to walk to that fire in the mornings. because it's, it's very instrumental. This is Dead & Company playing. Let's see what Fish Radio has. Harpua, fish. I think I'd rather listen to some fire on the mountain. So that wraps my tour of what's going on with me. Um, <laughs> it's not much, but new construction. One good news is I'm going on vacation for an entire week to Sedona at the end of Ju June for my birthday. My birthday is July 2nd. By the time you guys watch this video or by the time I post this video, I already have had my birthday and vacation. So what I'm going to do in Sedona, though, is take lots of video and probably pull it all together 
and do an accumulation of my trip in Sedona. It's my daughter and I that's going. It's a girl's trip. We're staying at a super ultra luxury hotel there. Uh, I haven't been on vacation in a very long time. So I'm really, I gotta put my glasses on, sun's bright. I'm really, 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 really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be fun. We're gonna plan a spa date, maybe a couple spa days. We're gonna get a tattoo together. We already have a tattoo picked out. We're gonna get an evil eye tattoo because I am half Turkish, if you guys don't know that. And um, I lived in Turkey for five years. So to for my culture or my mom's culture, we're gonna get little evil eyes matching tattoos. My daughter is 19 years old, if you don't know that either. Um, yeah, we're really, really, really excited because the place that we're staying at is gonna have um, a just, it's a spa, they have a spa with like chakra balancing and all kinds of cleansing and um, they also have yoga every morning, they have feeding the ducks every morning, they have stargazing like three nights that, that we're going to be there, lots of activities that we're going to do. I'm not a hiker, we may check out a few places like the Peace Park or Peace something with the Big Buddha um, and of course eat a lot of awesome food there. Um, but I can't wait to do a video of it. Hopefully, if my daughter doesn't poo-poo a lot of it, be on the lookout for that video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video that I've created, the day in the life of me, Angela O'Hare, and what my life looks like, not daily, but, you know, what I do for my clients, check out things, especially when it comes to the Summerlin area. If you want to learn more about Summerlin, you can always go to my website at summerlincommunities.com where I've done a video on all the villages except for the ridges. I haven't done one of the ridges just because of um, I can't really get in there and do video. And then actually South Square Village, I haven't done a video yet. I have it recorded. I will be posting that one of these days as well. It's trying to, you know, with summer approaching and business slowing, my video ideas are starting to um, be a little more fluid. Again, always trying to focus on the Summerlin area. I will be probably hiring a videographer finally get with the game like everyone else all these other known youtubers that hires people to do drone yada yada i've been doing it all myself and it kind of gets old anyway i'm just jabbering <laughs> i'm about to head to the 215 head home for a minute then i have a 12 o'clock appointment so i really really appreciate you guys watching if you are thinking about buying a home in the summerlin area or selling you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. What I've noticed though is I've been getting a lot of calls and there have been spam or solicitors. So text me first, then I'll call you back. If not, email me at theohareteamlv at gmail.com. I tend to respond faster than getting phone calls um, because one, I'm usually busy showing houses. And then if you do leave a voicemail, for some reason my Apple phone just, I won't get your message for like a couple of days later. So either text, Try to call first, text, and email. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. I'm going to jam to some fire. <laughs> Peace out, guys.